Do you smell something unpleasant, Casca? Uh, Masu Poo smells better, and I speak true. I state the obvious. You are Ogel, not of our tribe. Coming here makes you either very brave or very foolish, but it has nothing to do with me. I display my fangs in warning. Now leave me to my thoughts. Kishi is always in trouble, but never has the mud risen so high. He disobeyed tradition, tribal laws, and my direct orders when he decided to interfere in the rites of ascension. Now the Rajkar has sentenced spawn of my eggs to death. <sighs> I grind my fangs in frustration. I tried to talk to the Rajkar, the war chief, but he doesn't want to hear the truth. The dead water only care about strength and death, and they plan to follow that path to the bitter end. This book should have been destroyed ages ago. Kishi hid it here. He wants me to remember who I was, but I am no longer the Kardilith. The tribe has sentenced Kishi to death. I will stand at my son's side and die with him. You would risk life and limb for a stranger. Kishi believes that outsiders aren't intrinsically bad. So, I accept his opinion and thank you for your help. Kishi was taken to the ruins at the north end of the village. Save him and send him away. I expose the spine of regret. Once the Deadwater tribe was as numerous as the fish in the streams. Now we send our dwindling number of hatchlings to die upon the path of the lily. It curls my scales. The ruins remind us of more prosperous seasons. The ruins serve as a perfect killing field. Which is what will happen to Kishi if you continue to stand here and ask me questions. If you really want to help, save my egg son and then tell him to leave the village and never return. 
There is no place in the village for someone sentenced to die. Kishi must flee and go far away, or our warriors will be forced to kill him. As for me, I need to consider his words and decide what to do with my old training manual. I served as the tribe's war teacher before I was replaced. That old book contains my training methods, techniques that worked well, until they didn't. When Mewa Jez changed everything, novices started to die. But tell me, why do you care? Hmm. The Ogel sees the truth, even through the fog of our traditions. The laws of the Deadwater refuse to bend. But in a powerful wind, the tall, straight tree either weathers the storm or breaks apart. Perhaps with your help, the tribe can learn to bend. certain death. You have my thanks and my respect. Unless you seek a reward, then I respect you less. My exile, how unexpected. When last we talked, he urged me not to oppose the Kadilith, but I refuse to let the dead water become nothing but a memory. Unlike Boki, I have drunk from the river of courage and refuse to turn away from my tribe. Mewajez, the war teacher, instructs our novices, trains them to walk the path of the lily. Her methods, instead of making us strong, they lead to nothing but death. I speak true. My clutch was the last to make it through the right unscathed. Boki was our war teacher, until one mistake led to his disgrace. Now Mewa Jez trains the novices. In six seasons, she has lost every clutch that walked the path, blaming them for being too weak. If this continues, the tribe cannot survive. Tell Boki that you saved me. Tell him that I will find a way to save our tribe.
Say your words, Merwages, and then leave me to my grief. Kishi rejected our laws because of your obsolete ideas, Boki. Let this end with your egg son's death. Grieve as you will, but do not think to oppose me, old one. That is a battle you cannot win. The outsider returns. Just in time to see the disgrace that clings to me, like the mist that rises from the swamp. But what of my egg son? Does Kishi still live? Ah. I thank the hist that Kishi lives. But he risks everything to swim against the currents of our traditions. I must find the same courage as my egg son and do what is right. Otherwise, the tribe will slowly fade away. The Nagakur, who you call the Dead Water, we are warriors. Death is a part of who we are. In the past, our hatchlings grew to be novices who walked the path and became warriors. Death was present, but it never claimed all our young. Until now. One war teacher was replaced by another. Techniques were altered. Different virtues were emphasized. Under Mewajez's tutelage, novices fail the test over and over. She pushes them in one direction and blames them as the tribe slowly dies out. Find Kishi. He plans to show our war chief that there is a better way to train the novices. In the back room, take the firestones. Use them to find my egg son's hidden camp in the swamp, then help him carry out his plan. I patiently attempt to explain. Go into the swamp and look for the tamed vine tongues. These plants appear different from the more hostile varieties. Toss firestones at the plants and they will lead you to Kishi's hidden camp. Mewa Jez insists that her training is not at fault. The novices are too weak, and that is why they fail. The war teacher proclaims that every challenge can be overcome by strength and strength alone. Hit harder, kill faster, never pause to think. Because strength is only one weapon in the warrior's arsenal. To ignore the others is to court doom, as our novices find out again and again. If not for Kishi's interference, the latest group would have died as well, and for this, he is dishonored. The Deadwater tribe learns to fight. We have very little experience questioning orders or ignoring tradition. That is Kishi's greatest strength and most apparent weakness. He questions everything. Help my egg son, and you will help our tribe. Rajkal Silan accepts death as a constant companion. It is almost a member of our tribe. The war chief sees the Haj Mota flying toward the waterfall, but considers its fate to be part of the natural order. The war chief believes that Mewa Jez's methods will produce stronger, more powerful warriors. Eventually, in the meantime, he cannot resist the pull of tradition any more than the Haj Mota or the rest of the tribe. That is why Kishi must succeed. Boki. Come out and tell me where Kishi is. I sigh at the inevitable. Find Kishi while I send Mewajez on a wild guar chase. The war chief sentenced Kishi to death, Boki. Your egg son doesn't even have the good sense to die with honor. <sighs> I bear my fangs at this insult. 
Rage all you want. When Kishi comes for you, we'll slap him in chains. Say so, Kishi. Uh, there's something special about this outsider. Boki's fire stones. I suppose he told you how to find my camp. I stare in wonder. Though I appreciate the aid you provided, I must ask why the outsider is here. Mewaches is a pox upon our tribe. I need to find a way to convince the War Chief that Boki's training techniques are not only sound, but represent the best way to save the Deadwater. To accomplish this, I'll need your help, if you're willing. Help me show the War Chief that the old ways truly are the best, specifically the methods Boki once used to train our novices. I'm proof that Boki's techniques of using wits and strategy are more effective than simply relying on brute strength. And a daring plan it is. I will mentor you, use Boki's techniques to guide you through the path of the Lily. When an outsider succeeds where dead water novices failed, it will prove that Mewajes is wrong. Can I count on you, outsider? We must return to my village and go to the War Chief's pavilion. Only Raj Karl Silan can grant an outsider permission to walk the path of the Lily. Just choose your words carefully. The War Chief's ego bruises easily, and he's quick to anger. My exile resigned his position after the unfortunate events surrounding the Rite of Passage some seven seasons ago. One of Boki's students, a young Naga named Chukala, considered himself to be better than the others, and better than his training. Chukala ignored Boki's lessons and charged onto the path of the Lily like a Wamasu in the hatchery. He boasted that warriors needed only their strength to win the day, not clever tricks and careful observation. Unfortunately, they succeeded. No. But Chukala challenged Boki, said he was weak and unfit to teach warriors. They fought, and the commotion attracted the predators that prowled the path. Chukala and the novices were killed. Boki was injured. He resigned in shame after that. She demanded the war chief give her the position. You see, Chukala was her egg brother. She wanted to honor his memory by teaching novices the things Chukala believed. Those instructions killed many novices before I intervened. Rajkal Silan is as wise as he is cautious. He sees the problem even if tradition and decorum tie his hands and keep him from acting. If we can provide him with a clear and viable option, I believe he will jump at the chance to grab it. No, it doesn't. He may even order his warriors to strike us down for simply suggesting the idea. But the War Chief respects Boki. I have to believe he will give us a chance. For Boki's sake, if not for the welfare of the tribe. I widen my eye slits in wonder. 
You contradict everything the tribe taught me about outsiders. I hope the War Chief lets you take the rite of passage, and I hope you make it to the end of the path, for all our sakes. The outsider dares approach the sacred pavilion. Lower your spines, Kadilith. It is the rare outsider that dares approach the Nagakor. I mentor the outsider. We ask to walk the path of the lily. Blasphemy! Kill them all! Hold! I will hear what Kishi and the outsider have to say. Boki says the Nagakor are doomed. Kishi claims our war teacher is to blame. What do you say, outsider? Why have you come to the village of the Deadwater? I shake my head in disbelief. Why is it that everything connected to Boki and his egg son reeks of broken laws and forsaken traditions? Do you truly believe you can succeed where the best of our young warriors have failed? Uh, it will prove something. On that we agree. Very well. Walk the path. Kishi will accompany you as your mentor. Return with the Sacred Lily, and I will listen to Kishi's plea. If you fail and die, Boki will be executed, and our traditions will stand. Mewages, prepare the path. The Outsider will undergo the same rite as our novices. War Chief, no! Straw you cannot killer. allow Kishi to disrespect our cherished customs. Do as I command, War Teacher. I want to see how the Ogel fares. This will work, Boki. You'll see.
This is about saving our people, Mewaches. Through weakness and trickery, you dishonor our tribe and my egg brother's memory. No matter. If my novices cannot succeed, your outsider has no chance. No chance at all. Miwaches' novices fail because they attempt to use brute force to complete the rite of passage. Listen to my words, and we will succeed where they have failed. Trust me, as I trust you. The first part of the path involves the trial of movement. You must find a way to get past one of the largest, deepest pools of quicksand in all of Merkmire. Remember the vine tongues? The plants are the key to navigating this hazard. Pokey accompanied his novices, so I will accompany you. I cannot interfere in your trials, only offer advice. But you can use me as a tool, directing me to provide minor aid at times. For example, my arrows can be used to attract the vine tongues. Yes, with the ultimate goal of reaching the signal totem and igniting it to show that you have completed the first challenge. Take this arrow and point it whenever you want me to use my bow. Are you ready to begin? Point the arrow I gave you, and I'll take care of the rest. She prefers to instruct from a distance, and let her charges succeed or fail on their own. Proceed with care, my friend.
finished the second trial. Let's find a safe spot to speak. This spot is good. Let's talk. Well, friend outsider, I think we may actually succeed and reach the sacred lily. Overconfidence can fell even the mightiest warrior, though. The final challenge awaits us. Do not let your guard down. De Rosa guards the sacred lily. He is powerful and hard to kill, but he isn't invincible. Here, take this sack of firestones. Use them and your wits, and I'm sure you'll survive. You can do this. I have faith in you. De Rosa is an Argonian behemoth, created by our Hist to protect the sacred lily and test the mettle of our novice warriors. Know that the creature has tasted the blood of many novices. They will not fall easily, I am sorry to say. Mm -hmm. 